Hello my friends and welcome back to the quest for the Campanella. This is a series where I'm attempting to learn one of the most difficult pieces on the piano in a short amount of time as possible as a complete beginner. And I we now move on to week number 16. Um, yeah, it's going really well. I was in a new location this week, so I've got a different camera angle to share with you this week. So I'd really appreciate if you let me know what you think, if I could try and maintain that, or if you have any other ideas about that, I'd really appreciate hearing from you down in the comments. And also drop a like on the video if you yeah if you're new around here and subscribe yeah all that fun stuff but that us move on to the piano and we start on day I'm not even gonna guess because I don't know <laughs> but away we go so I'm now in my nice little box here and uh, yeah as you can see it's a different camera angle it was day 108 um here I'm just doing a run through of the beginning of La Campanella but um with a metronome and I've done this quite a lot this week and I cannot <laughs> describe how much it has helped me. Just having that kind of constant rhythm to keep to, it's been really, really useful this week. Even, well, I still make mistakes, but yeah, it's as well as slowing it down and just making sure that I keep to that rhythm. It's, it's yeah, as you'll see from the end, how much it's helped and like it's made such a difference to my playing. Because I've been doing it with a lot of different things as well, just my arpeggio studies and my um, scales as well. I've been practicing with metronomes and it's been, yeah, really helpful. But day 110, we now move on to. And um, this is a improvised piece, I believe. Yeah, it is, yeah. Very slow and very moody. You might you might be able to guess that this is the kind of music that I like to play. quite nice because you may have seen the evolution of this piece over over the weeks because it's still kind of working in G minor, a G sharp minor, which is obviously what the Campanella is in. And um, so I've done quite a lot of work with in this key. And um, yeah, it's quite interesting because I do often watch back a, a my own progress and um, yeah, this piece kind of crops up quite a bit, <laughs> as you might see later on as well, because <laughs> well, I'll save that. Yeah, one thing to note about the camera angle as well, do you think that it would be better being flipped so it's almost like my head looking down? Because I did try this, but it just didn't quite look right. And it's something I might try and do for this next week, if you, obviously, if you guys agree with me and be thinking this is a better way of going about it. So yeah, it's either this kind of top down, it being flipped so it's like my perspective looking down, or that side on angle, which I had before. Yeah, there you go. I think that's a really quite a nice piece. We do move on to day 112. <laughs> and you may notice this is a little bit similar to the last one, which um, I didn't actually think about it. It's just when I come to record and it's, it was just a bit like, yeah, I'm just going to play this. And it's, it's not the same by any stretch of the imagination. It's the same key and it's the same kind of mood. But yeah, I think, yeah, but it has noticeable differences. This is more akin to what I've been playing previously in the past, whereas that last piece was more kind of new and um, new. Yeah, as I was saying earlier, I really think my playing has 
come on by leaps and bounds this week just by experimenting with different things. You may have seen the uh, live looping video that I did the other day and I've been playing a lot with them. Um, playing along with myself basically quite a lot just playing chords and just kind of soloing over the top of it which I think is a really interesting thing about going about things and it's um yeah I think it's really helped me improve in my um my improvising abilities and my just my general hand abilities you know just moving around and um, up and down scales playing scales that I don't normally play and stuff like this so it's been a really good week I would say a really strong week I say all that and that's, it made quite a few mistakes there, but hey, you know, it's 112 days into playing the piano. I think it's pretty good, you know. I'd love to hear what you guys think, yeah, as I keep saying, but I really appreciate your feedback and your comments. It, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's part of the reason why I do this, you know. <laughs> a little dog moving around in the background there. Yeah, that's my uh, three days from this week. And um, obviously I do play every day, but I just kind of choose these three days to kind of, yeah. And uh, yeah, well, I don't have to explain myself, but we're gonna move on to the full playthrough of La Campanella now. And um, yeah, I just want you to pay special attention to particularly the first section and the second section, because that's what I've been playing along with the metronome too. And I think that that has improved me so much. But anyways, take it away.
so that's it for this week. I'd love to hear what you uh, what you think about my progress. I think I went really well this week. Um, my goal was to kind of learn the last two bars of um, the second page, the second page of the sheet music, which I did, but not quite as fluently as what I wanted because I was focusing on other things. But um, yeah, so I kind of achieved my goal, but not quite as much as I wanted, but other things were achieved. But um, my goal for this week is going to be to make some solid strides into the third page of the sheet music. I'm not going to put like a, a limit on where I can and can't do, but I want to start learning some new things. So yes, but that is all we have time for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Much love and peace out, my dear friends. Ciao, Bella.